Let's get ready to rumble! Enzo Maconelli was stopped in the first round for the vacant European title at the York Hall in London. The cruiserweight belt was on the line. He took on a Russian named Dimitro Kucha, who previously lost to Lalonga Makabu, who Tony Bellew stopped for the vacant WBC cruiserweight title recently. It was a decent fight while it lasted. It was a battle of the jabs. Kucha was trying to get full power and extension into his jab at times. Macronelli, he done some nice left hand work, man. He doubled it up at times. Kucha was dropping his hands and fainting, trying to draw the leads, looking for a counter. It was a good round. It was a good round. Kucha found a range with the jab. He started pouring a couple of jabs first, just poured with the jab. Then he found a range and landed a couple. One went through the gloves. Macronelli tried a big right uppercut and got countered by a beautiful left hook. And you could see his legs just went to rubber. The expression on his face just said, oh, doo-doo. You know, he was in trouble. Kucha followed up with both hands, left, right, left, right. Put Macronelli on the canvas. He got up with his back to the referee. When he turned around, the referee checked his condition, then led him back to his corner. He was in no fit condition to continue. And the fight was over. Gary Lockett came over and consoled him. It was done. Enzo is no stranger to the canvas. David Hay knocked him out. Dennis Lebedev knocked him out. Offalabi knocked him out. He's been knocked out about five or six times in his career. He was also a WBO champion in his own right, defeating the likes of Wayne Braithwaite. So he's had a decent career. He knocked out Roy Jones last time out, I believe. He tweeted that he was sorry to his fans. He apologized to them, but he got caught with a left hook and it wasn't the way that he wanted to end his career, ideally. So he's suggesting that will be the last we see of him. We'll see if that holds true in the months to follow. He used to be trained by Joe Calzaghe's dad, Enzo Calzaghe, back in the day. When he was WBO champion, I believe. And if this is the way his career ends, it's a tough way to end it. But they've got to end somewhere. The careers have to end somewhere. Enzo is only 36, so maybe it's best to get out now while he's young. Because if there is any neurological damage, getting knocked out like that at 36 is not going to improve that condition. But it's Enzo's decision and Enzo's decision alone. Peace.